Lego recently pledged to remove gender bias from its products. And while this could mean a lot of things to a lot of people, I'm not going to talk about the future of Lego focused on girls. Let's look at the past. The earliest theme that I could find that was specifically targeted at girls was Scala or Scala, or maybe it's Scala. I really don't know how to pronounce this. Does anyone know how to pronounce this correctly? The theme started all the way back in 1979, and it's basically just Lego jewelry. It's bracelets and necklaces that kind of thing. No real Lego sets from this theme. It's a little disappointing because it is very much just for your girly girls that just want jewelry. And while I do love some earrings and different jewelry, when it comes to Lego, I want real sets. Scala, or Scala, however you say it, kept going off and on through 2001. And in the later years, they did actually start to do some sets. Pretty obvious that Lego was just trying to compete with Barbie. Take this Happy Home set, for instance. Does this actually look like a Lego set to you? Because it definitely doesn't to me. And you're probably looking at this thinking, that's probably like from the 70s or 80s. But you'd be wrong. This set came out in 2000. While that theme was still going, they also introduced Belleville, which I have to say was an improvement to some extent. Belleville started in 1994 and went through 2008. They did seem a little bit more like a Lego set, but they were still using dolls, so it still seemed like a competition with Barbie and not an addition to the actual like Lego themes. Lego Star Wars started in 1999, Lego Harry Potter 2001, Lego Batman 2006, all kinds of awesome themes quote unquote for boys. I may not be your typical girl, but but I like a lot of those themes that are more targeted towards boys. I kind of find the ones that are targeted specifically for girls a little pointless. As a collector, I kind of want to own some of these. From 2003 to 2006, you also had a very girly theme called Clickets, which was another one that was kind of like Scala. It was kind of Lego jewelry for the most part. In 2012, Lego finally introduced a theme that used regular regular Lego pieces and figures that were almost the size of regular minifigures. Friends. Friends has been a great line and I know that it has sold very, very well. But if there was one thing that I could change, just make them with minifigures. I don't know why they think that we have to have dolls for girl sets. I personally would love to have minifigure versions of all of these. Friends has come a long way from <laughs> where they started with Scala but I wish that they would just take it one step further. Let's change Lego friends to Lego best friends and make it minifigures. I think that would be absolutely amazing. However, I don't think that's where Lego is going with the removing gender bias. I think what they want to do is girl doctors, girl engineers, girl scientists, girl athletes, and all of that's great. I love it. That's really, really good. But for the sets that are focused on girls, let's do minifigures. I don't like the dolls. I like minifigures. That's why I'm into Lego. I love Lego minifigures. So why do we need mini dolls? Let's just put minifigures in the friend sets. That would be great. And I think you'd even find that guys would be more interested in buying some of the friend sets if you used minifigures. Just use a regular minifigure and I feel like a lot of those sets would apply to everyone and appeal to everyone. But that's just my two cents. Feel free to agree or disagree. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.